What is going on guys, FMU here and welcome to a bit of a different episode of the AFC Hinkley save. Today we step away from the first team okay, and we look to the future. It's Youth Intake Day and today we're going to have a look at the candidates versus the under 18s. So there's a couple of names that have sprung to light in the email that you get, in the inbox email. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it gone? Announce new intake of kids. There we are. So, <coughs> Everington has said that Glenford Markman, what a name, Glenford Markman, 16 years of age, he's got the old blonde Mohican going on, quite pacey, let's say that, quite strong, long shots are good, free kick take, his finishing is nine, he could be decent. He could be decent, so we'll be keeping an eye on him. Um, this guy, Ryan McMahon, worst haircut in football. You ready for this? Get your ball cut out. Get your ball cut out. But he's quite a decent looking player. So we shall, uh, we shall, you know, we shall hold fire on making fun of the guy. And James Avery, he's quite a decent looking guy, I suppose, for this level. He's quick, you know, he's a quick striker. Poor finishing, probably won't do much for us, but, um, you know. And there was another one, what was his name? Oh, I found Nemo. <laughs> hey, do -do -do -do. This guy, Jason Michael. Look at that, look at that hairdo. What a legend. Fast, strong, aggressive, High work rate, good heading, good tackling. They, this is the guy I'm more excited about than any of the others. 16 years of age. I've not actually had a look to see if he's a big guy. 5'9", so he's not big. He's only 10 stone, but he's quick. So that that really goes in his favour. Um, the other guy, Sam Nemo, very average goalkeeper, a bit eccentric. Um, Adam Parsons. I get you see... The, we get started to get youngsters with quite decent, you know, double figured skills coming in now. Um, now this guy here, look, uh, Matty Thomas, he's another one. He looks fairly decent. He's quick. We're getting a lot of quick players coming through, which is nice. You know, it is. Um, it's always a bonus when they've got a bit of pace, especially at this level. This guy, Costos Trisostomo, <laughs> Trisostomo. He's, uh, he's quickish as well, he's aggressive, got good determination, um, so he could be a guy. Liam Duggan, he's another one that's relatively quick. We seem to be good at producing quick athletes, you know, quick players. And he says that, and then he gets two that are slow as hell. Three, and then Glenford's back up again. So today we're going to have a little look-see at the game. So it's probably just going to be a real short little video today. But uh, we're going to go over and we're going to take a little look at the uh, the match and see how we get on. Okay. So these are the lineup. So Makel, he's one guy that we need to look at. And Markman, he's the other. Um, man for some reason isn't involved how bizarre oh no there he is he's at the back so we get to also have a good look at some of these guys such as uh, Parrish and Brown if he comes on Muggleton as well and Ball people that have been involved in the first team very very slightly should we say um, and they're going to come in and Possibly today. I mean, look at this overreaction here. Sorry to interrupt what I'm saying, but look at this. All oh, them. There's nobody here, son. There's nobody here. Um, but you know, it's an opportunity for them to show us what they got. Barnsey as well. Barnsey boy up top. This is opportunity. So many. Oh, oh dear. So many of them. You know. Um, in with a good possibility of showing us of it. And um, Parish as well at the uh, at the back for the under 18s. He's one that's been knocking on the door a little bit of the first team as of late. So we're kicking off here with the uh, the candidates leading the way from the off. I don't want to look at yours. Don't. And there's Buckley. Sends it forward. Barnes. Turnbull. Poor defending. Poor defending. I want to get the... Uh, 
Come on, get it out. Get it out. Well done, Thorpe. Milk it out. It's not going to be the best level of football you're ever going to see in your life, let's be honest. But, you know, it's a good insight. Oh, Markman knocked it down to Thomas. Markman. Oh, that was brilliant. What a move. Well done. Cost us a uh, chop a lop a lot. He scored. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's have a look at this. I want theirs up so I can see what they're doing. Fisher. Pearsons. Markman. Oh. Is he offside? No, he isn't. Costas. Try. I'm, like, I'm going to say. I'm just going to call him Costas. Okay. Costas has got two goals so far. He's doing the job. He's doing the job. Two assists from Glenford Markman. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Let's bring it off. Let's have a quick look. Okay. Uh, performance. These boys. Select a player. So let's have a look at how Jason Michael is doing. No shots. That's hardly surprising. Um, intercepted. 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 See how many he's got intercepted. Oh, a few. Completed. A lot more, luckily. Out of play. Just the two. Blocked. None. So he's not doing too badly. Um, so have a look at his average positioning. Yep, in and around his normal position does come inside, but uh, yeah, his positioning is quite decent to be fair. Uh, Markman, let's have a look. So he's he's covering the ground. You would expect him to shots. He's had one missed and two saved. Um, let me just have a look at his passing because his passing, I would imagine, is going to be relatively good. He's had two blocks. He's put none out of play. He's had a few, uh, three, four, six intercepted. But look at that. And those two have left to, left to, uh, led to the goals. So, you know, you know, he's looking, uh, he's looking decent. And then let's have a look at Costos, somebody who surprised me. His completed passes are a lot. Intercepted. Mm, quite a few out of play none blocked just the one uh shots he's had a couple of shots missed the net missed the net missed the my goodness that was a bit of a wild one but the two he's got on target have both been goals so his conversion rate when he actually gets on target is quite good so uh let's have a look at your movement as well uh your average position should i say okay that's not bad and his movements offside the mistake there about Markman run past opponent run past opponent run past opponent offside 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 so he's he's caught offside a lot about Michael there run past opponent so they've done you know you can see already their players are doing all right they are doing okay so just under 20 minutes left of this game for the youngsters Scott Chamberlain see a lot of these under 18s are playing for their futures really Michael's been booked he's Avery now oh <laughs> dive um, Hewitt Duggan oh unlucky unlucky a good move that it's Hewitt oh Pope saved on the line that man pass oh unlucky unlucky Michael will just see it down to the goalkeeper Toffolo he sends it up here's Hewitt come on now that's nice movement Avery Michael I think they're just playing the clock down, aren't they? Markman, Avery, has gone down again. Markman, get in. Mistake from the guys at the back there set Markman up for his goal. So he's on the score sheet. Go on, Avery. Run at him. Run at them. Cause them to panic. Muggleton, well in. That man at the back there. So a 3-0 win for the youth candidates. I, now... You don't always get that. The youth candidates 
don't always pick up the win so they must must have something about them so I am now going to go and I'm going to evaluate them I know for a fact I want Markman no doubts about that in the slightest um, in fact I don't think there's anybody who I'm not going to offer a contract to but I'm just keen to get Markman um, Michael and um, Costas surely we've got to get Costas in after his performance you know he's got a couple of goals so we've got to get him in uh, Hinkley FC Bottle Half uh, 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 it is no half is now to take great interest in how the other uh, well thank you very much I uh, I do enjoy a little look at them it says that because I do sometimes sit and watch an under nine, uh, under 18s game or an under 21 game um, just to see if anybody catches the eye and that's why sometimes we'll come into a video and you'll randomly see a youth player on the bench or in the first team uh, not doing it at the moment in fact, the squad's looking a bit threadbare at the moment. Oh, Barry's back. Barry, Barry Gray. He's unhappy. He's unhappy. But we'll sort him out. Don't you worry. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I just wanted to give you a little glimpse at the future of the club. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.